CC family, it's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet and today we're going to learn how to make a headband mask. And this is great for the winter months um, when you're getting cold and you want something to cover your ears and then there's a mask with it as well and it attaches with these buttons. Okay, so um, we're going to get into our materials for today. So for the yarn, I used I Love This Yarn from Hobby Lobby um, and it is ivory. Okay, and then I used I Love This Yarn, and this color is, and it is a print, and it's called Instant Classic. So I'll leave these in the description box below. You're also going to need two buttons. You can use any buttons you wish. They can be big or small. I got these at Walmart, and I will leave these in the description box below also. You are going to need a 5.5 millimeter hook for the entire project. You're going to need a pair of scissors and you're going to need a darning needle or you might call it a crochet needle. I'm sorry about the, uh, the state of my nails, but we have all had COVID in my house. We are recovering now, thank God, but we've been through a mess. Um, and so I haven't been able to go anywhere to do my nails, so please forgive my nails. But anyway, let's get into the tutorial. Thing we're going to do is we're going to learn how to make the headband and then we'll go into the mask, okay? Um, and for the headband that fits my head and it's a, basically a um, fits one fits all um, is a chain of 65. Um, but I'm going to show you how to do a half double crochet foundation chain in this video today, which gives such a sleek look and makes it extra stretchy for headbands and this works also for beanies. So just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, it's a chain of 65 and that should fit pretty much anyone. But if you wanna make this for children or you wanna make it for someone who has a smaller head or a bigger head, then you'll have to adjust that foundation, okay? So let's go ahead and get started and we're gonna bring out our cream colored ivory yarn. Now I'm not gonna do a chain of 65 or a half double crochet foundation of 65 um, because uh, yeah, there's no point. It'd be a very long video. So I'm just gonna do a tiny um, one today. So we're gonna make a slip knot and to do this foundation half double crochet, which seems difficult, but guys, it's not. It's so easy and I love doing it. And like I said, it really makes a different in, difference in your finished project. So you're going to chain two. And in the second chain, you're going to yarn over, go into this stitch, pull up your yarn. You've got three loops on your hook. You're gonna go through one loop. Then you've got three loops on your hook. Then you're gonna go through all three, okay? Then you're gonna yarn over and you're gonna be working into this stitch right here, right here. So we're gonna yarn over and go into this stitch under both Vs, pull your yarn through, you have three loops, go through one, you have three loops again, and then you go through all three. Now that first one we pulled through is what we're going to be working into. So yarn over and go into this spot right here. Pull up your yarn, go through one, and then go through all three. And you see that one that we did in the beginning is right there. So yarn over, go through that, pull up a loop, go through one, you've got three loops, go through all three. And again, yarn over, go through this, pull through one, then go all three. So let's get this really close without me shaking the camera. But these are these stitches right here that we're working into, okay? So right here, and I'm sorry this is a light colored yarn, it is harder to see, but yarn over and go through this previous stitch that you worked and pull up you've got three loops. You're gonna go through your first loop. That's the stitch we're gonna be working into in a minute. Then go through all three. Then yarn over and do that again. Go through that stitch, pull up your yarn, go through the first, go through all three, okay? Now this is the top of your yarn right here. So when you're making this and you're doing your 65, so you're gonna need 65 of these for your foundation row for your headband, okay? 
but this is the top right here. But I'm gonna show you how to join all this together. So you again, you yarn over, go through the stitch you just worked, and make sure that you go through the actual stitch, you don't go below it, okay? Because I what I wanna do is go under this two Vs right here, but you could accidentally go into here and go under it. Oops, sorry, I was off camera. So you don't wanna go under it. That's what that would look like. You wanna go through that stitch. So that's the only mistake I could see that you could possibly make is to do that. So just make sure you go under that V, pull up your yarn, go through one, that first stitch there, go through all three. And isn't this great and easy? Instead of doing a, found, uh, a chain and then going back and doing your half double crochet, you can do it all in one. And it just looks so wonderful and is so stretchy, like I said. So this is what it looks like. And there's the top right there. So you're technically working through the back here. So this would be like your chain running down here and the top here would be your half double crochets, okay? So for this video, I'm going to do a um, half uh, double crochet foundation of just 15 um, or 20, I'm not sure yet. But either way, um, this is just for the video. You're gonna do 65. So I'm gonna finish mine and then we'll get back together and I'll show you how to join them. So I ended up doing 20 half double crochet foundation, okay? So now I'm gonna join them. Yours, of course, will be much longer than this for your headband. So I'm going to join just like this and I'm gonna make sure that it's not um, turned or twisted in any way. And I'm just going to join just like this. I'm gonna go right through this first one that we did, the first half double crochet foundation stitch that we did and I'm going to pull through and I'm going to do a slip stitch. So this end right here is going to still be open and we will sew that together on the end, okay? So but this to me is the outside. So I'm going to turn it this way so that it can be facing the correct way, okay? And then I'm going to chain two, one and two. And then I'm gonna go back into the same spot I just worked into and do a half double crochet. And then I'm gonna do half double crochets all the way around. So you should have 64, a count of 64 at this point. 64 for your um, foundation row and 64 for this half double crochet row. Okay, so right now we're on our last stitch right here. So we're gonna work a half double crochet. And then we're going to slip stitch, not to the chain of two that we worked, but to the first half double crochet. So work right in there and do a slip stitch. And that's gonna be the same for every row that you do. Whether we're doing double crochets or front posts or whatever, that first um, chain of two does not count, okay? So now we've got basically two rows of half double crochet. 
So what I want you to do is undo this last one we just did because I actually want to change colors here. So this is the way you're going to change colors. You're going to yarn over, go into your stitch, pull it up like you were doing a half double crochet, but you're going to leave it just like that. And then we're going to pull in our color here. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to put it on my hook, leaving a little bit of leeway with my yarn there. Then I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to cut off my white yarn, leaving a little tail as well because these still are going to need to be worked in. And then I'm just going to do a little tie there. Not a knot, but just a little tie, okay? And then you can put that on the inside and it can just hang down. Now you've got your color brought in and now you will do a slip stitch. Now you will do a slip stitch to your first half double crochet. Now you're going to chain two and you're going to work a double crochet right into the same spot. Just like that. And then you're going to do double crochets all the way around. Okay, so now we're on our last double crochet right here. And then we're going to slip stitch to our first double crochet, not our chain of two. Okay, just like that. Now here comes the fun part, and this is where we're going to make the texture for this textured headband, okay? So we're going to chain two. We're going to do a double crochet in the same spot again. And in the next one, we're going to do a front post double crochet, okay? So this one is right under here. This double crochet from below is right here and that actually counts this chain of two in this double crochet. So we need to go around this next one and we're gonna do a front post double crochet. So to do that, you're gonna yarn over, go behind this yarn with your hook, pull it up, go through two, go through two, just like that. And in the next space, you're going to do a regular double crochet. And in the next, you're going to do a front post double crochet. And in the next, a regular double crochet. And in the next, a front post double crochet. And you're just gonna keep doing that all the way around. Now we're on our last stitch and for this last stitch, we need to do our front post double crochet because we just did a regular double crochet. So we're gonna do our front post. And then we're going to slip stitch just like before into this first double crochet. Now the way to give this really some great texture is to alternate what we just did. So what we just did is we did one double crochet and then one front post. So now we're gonna start with the front post. So chain two. And then right here, you can see that first double crochet that you did. So in this one, what we're gonna do now is the opposite. So we're gonna work a front post double crochet around this one. And in the next one, which is this front post from before, we're gonna work a regular double crochet. And then the next one was just a regular double crochet. So we're gonna work a front post double crochet. And in the next, this is a front post. So we're gonna do a regular double crochet. So that's the thing, you're just gonna keep alternating. Okay. 
Okay, so on this one, on this row, we're gonna end with a double, regular double crochet. And then we're going to slip stitch into that first front post double crochet that we did, not the chain of two. So this is what it looks like. Of course, yours will be much bigger. And you're just gonna keep alternating like that. So this time I would chain two, and I would start right here with a regular double crochet because as you can see, that's a front post double crochet. And then because this is a regular double crochet, I'm gonna do a front post double crochet, you see? So we're just gonna keep doing that all the way around. And let's look at mine here to see. So I started with a row of double crochet. I did my two hat rows of half double crochet, I did a row of double crochet, and then I did one, two, three, four, five rows of that alternating back and forth. So you need to do five rows of that. And then I'm gonna show you how to change colors back to the ivory to do your last two rows of half double crochet, okay? So you should have already finished your five rows or you can make it even bigger, however you'd like to do, but basically five rows. And you're gonna be working your last stitch here, whatever stitch that might be for you. And then you're going to do, just like we did before, we're gonna pull in this other color like we were making a half double crochet. And then I'm gonna turn it over. I'm gonna cut off the colored yarn. I'm gonna make a little tie here, just like that. I'm gonna drop it inside, out of the way. And then I'm gonna do my slip stitch. And now we're gonna start doing some half, two rows of half double crochet. So we're gonna chain two. In that same spot, we're gonna put one half double crochet. And then you're just gonna do half double crochets all the way around. Okay, so we just did our last half double crochet and now we're not gonna slip stitch to this chain of two, but to our first half double crochet, we're going to do a slip stitch. And then you're gonna do one more row just like that. And then you're gonna be all finished with your headband, okay? So that's exactly how you do that. Make sure you work in all of your ends. And now we're gonna go on to how to complete the mask and put on the button. I'm gonna show you real quick what this mask look like, looks like. I'm gonna take it off the buttons from the headband. And this is what it looks like, just like this. It's a very simple mask. It's uh, actually just like I have another video and I will put that link, link below if uh, it's a little bit slower maybe uh, for you because we're gonna go through this pretty quickly. Um, but it's just like another mask video that I made. The only difference is, is you've just got very small sides and we are gonna work around it with a single crochet. Now, this one that I have here does not have a um, filter place for the back, a filter pocket, but I'm gonna show you how to do that so that if you wanted to wear this in the winter out and you wanted to be able to put like a surg surgical mask, for instance, um, or any kind of mask that you wanted to inside here in this filter, you can, okay? So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to do that as well, okay? So for the mask, you're going to chain 33. Um, this is a one size fits most kind of mask as well, just like the headband. If you need to adjust it, you will actually need to adjust the pattern as well for this. So, um, but it's, as you can see from the thumbnail, it is a pretty big mask and it um, fits my face really well. Um, my Husband has tried on these masks, it fits his face really well. But one thing I do wanna say before we get into the mask portion of this is that um, with having COVID and realizing how serious it is, I realized how serious it was before then, but um, it's really important that you use masks that are going to keep you healthy and safe. Crochet is not just a regular mask with no filter in it, crochet is not gonna keep you safe. That's why I'm gonna show you how to make the pocket for the back. Now, what you could do is also wear this over, a, just wear this over a surgical mask or another kind of mask that's deemed appropriate by the CDC. 
but I am going to show you how to make the pocket, as I said before, for the back in case you wanted to put something in it to make it safe. But this alone is not safe per CDC guidelines. So make your choices wisely. So, okay, so we're going to chain 33. Then you're going to go into the second chain from the hook and you're going to put a single crochet. You need five single crochets in total. So that was one, two, three, four, and five. Then you're going to do eight half double crochets. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then you're going to do six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you're going to repeat what you did before. So now you're going to do eight half double crochets. And then you're going to do five single crochets. Then you're going to chain one. You're going to turn your work and you were going to repeat, repeat what you just did. Let's go over it one more time together. So you're going to go into this first available stitch and work a single crochet. You need five in total, so that's two, three, four, and five. Then you're going to do eight half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then you're going to do six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then you're going to repeat. You're going to do eight half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then you're going to do five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. And then you would chain one, turn your work, and start all over again. Now, in all together for this mess that I'm making, you need nine rows of these two, of this pattern right here. So you did one, and then you did two. So you're going to need seven more rows of what we just did to make nine. Now, the way to count these rows, because it can get confusing because you're doing so many different stitches. So I would count in the middle here, the double crochets are the easiest to see. So you would go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and finish mine off camera, and then when we get back together again, 
I will show you how to go around and how to make the loops for the buttons. So we finished our nine rows here to make our mask and now we're going to make the loops for the buttons and we're going to go around our mask with a single crochet. So what I'd like you to do is turn your mask now. You still got your loop on your hook so just turn it to the side here just like this and you're going to chain one and then you're going to go into this first hole that you can see here and you're going to do one single crochet. Then you're going to go into the next hole that you can see and you're going to put one single crochet. Then you're going to chain 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Then you're going to skip two of these holes here. So there's one and there's two. And then you're going to single crochet in the next and single crochet in the next, okay? Now what I would like you to do is chain one and then right here in this space right here where you started your whole face mask, I want you to put a slip stitch just like that. Then we're going to start, chain, we're going to chain one and then we're going to start putting single crochets all across the bottom just like this into each space available. And you should have a count of 32 going across, but you don't have to count. You can just go into each available spot. Here at the bottom where we did our foundation chain here, um, it can be kind of hard to get into, so counting may work best for you. And both sides are worked exactly the same, but I just want to show you how to do the other side as well. So now we're down to our other side and just like we did on the other one, we're going to chain one. We're going to go right into this first stitch right here and do one single crochet. And then we'll go into the next and do one single crochet. And then you're going to chain 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Then you're going to skip two and then go into your next available hole, do one single crochet, go into the next, do one single crochet. Then you're going to chain one, go into this space right here, do a slip stitch. Then you're going to chain one again, and then you're gonna work single crochets all the way around the bottom of the mask. Again, you should have a stitch count of 32 now. So you're just going to do single crochets all the way around till you get over here and then you're going to slip stitch to right where we first started and then you will be done with your mask and the little holes for the buttons okay so easy peasy and now i want to show you how to put the buttons on the mask now i mean on the um headband all you're going to do for this okay is you're going to fold you can count if you want, you can go in half and count, you can do it however you wanna do it. But what I did was I folded it in half like this and I placed my buttons right, so here's one half, half double crochet row. So right above that, I placed my button still on the white, so it's going over just the color a little bit. And right where I did it in half, I'm gonna go right to the other side and put one right there as well. So put one here and then one here. And then they should line up just perfectly for you. Now all you do for the buttons is you take some corresponding um, ivory yarn or whatever color you're using, 
you place that on and then you sew it on just like you would any button, okay? And then just go one side here, one side there. Then you can flatten it out. And then the mask, which is finished here, will go around this button. And then on this side, okay? Just like that. And that can cover whatever mask you have underneath to keep your face nice and warm. Or I'm about to show you how to do a little filter so that you could put something in there if you wanted to do it that way. Okay, so to do the filter for this mask, you just need to do a slip knot. And you need to chain 23. One, two, three, four. So we have our 23, and in the second chain from the hook, the only thing we're going to do different now than we did different from the mask for the filter is we're going to omit the five single crochets. So you're going to go right into your first, uh, I mean the second chain from the hook, and you're going to do a half double crochet. So there's one, and then you need seven more. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So now we have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I'm sorry, let's do one more. So basically you're gonna start with eight half double crochets. Then you're going to do six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you're going to do eight half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And you're going to chain one, turn your work, and start that process all over again. So you're going to go into your first available stitch right here. And you're going to do a half double crochet. And you need eight in total. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then you're going to do six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you're going to do eight half double crochets again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then don't forget this last one. You might need to turn it on its side to be able to see it, and eight. And then you just repeat that for nine rows, just like you did the mask. The only thing you're doing different is you're not doing those five single crochets. So after you did your nine rows, you would take your mask, Turn it whichever way you want, whichever side you think is the best for the, the back. And of course, you would have nine rows of this, so it would be this tall. But you would just lay it flat, okay? You would count over one, two, three, four, five. Then you would place it there. Make sure that you counted five over here. And then you would just sew it on with a slip stitch. So what you would do is you would leave a long piece on this mask when you were done. And then you would just go back and forth. I'm just gonna take this little piece to show you real quick. So I would put the yarn on my darning needle. 
I would have counted over five, one, two, three, four, five. And the sixth space, I'm going to start sewing. So I'm gonna pull my yarn through just like this. Then I'm gonna to go to my next stitch, go into my next, and into my next. And you just keep going down like that. And then you work your yarn in at the end to make sure it doesn't come undone. And like I said, here at the top, yours will be much bigger. So here at the top, you would do the same thing that you did down here. So leave your sides open on each side. You will only sew the bottom and the top. Your sides would be open and then you could slip instead of putting the surgical mask or whatever mask you have around your ears you could slip it into the filter to give your ears a little bit of a break from that or you could not do a filter and just wear this over your mask you can do whichever you feel is great for you but again I want to reiterate that just the crochet mask itself is not helpful obviously common sense shows us that these have a ton of holes in them um, and so a lot of things could escape. Uh, I think anything's better than nothing though at this point, but these really wouldn't be helpful. I think the, the key is, is that, and we found this out along the way because uh, I don't think any of us knew much of anything about this, but um, you don't want to be able to blow out a candle or a lighter or a flame through this. So if I put this on with all these holes, I would definitely be able to blow something out. But if I had my had my CDC mask that was appropriate underneath it or through the filter thing, then it would be fine. Okay, so I hope you found this video helpful. Please feel free to share any of your pictures with me. I love seeing your pictures of your finished work. Um, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook. You can also find me on my Gmail. And of course, you can find me here on YouTube. All of those links are below in the description. Remember, all the materials are below as well if you need those. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please subscribe. It helps so much hitting that button below, but sharing is what really helps because I would love for people to see this video. So thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Happy crocheting. Bye-bye.